On my way back to Pika Labs, I was checking my own playlist and I realized that I haven't yet made a video about the camera movement. I completely forgot that, it seems. So take my apology and this video, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. I have a simple prompt right here. I've used an image to create kind of like a monster animation. I want this monster to smile and we can use the camera parameter and then adjust it in three different ways. First would be a zoom and then we can use zoom in and zoom out. Let me add that and I've actually added a typo here with the word smiling. While it does, let us check the documentation and here you can see on the Pika Labs Discord channel the parameter camera and zoom can be adjusted with in and out as I've said. So you can read about that in the official FAQ. You can't really stack these parameters. So these, what is it? Let's call it a sub parameter. So when you use a zoom, you can't add the other two, which are panning and rotate. You can only use them one at a time. And there are two or three things more to add. But first let's check our zoom. Here's the zoom in. Looks fine. Sometimes it loses the reference image a little bit. At least from my experience, let us use the zoom out. Also looks good. But sometimes, as I've said, it loses it. If it does, just recycle it and it should give you a good result. When you do it like five times, there should be at least one that's usable. Let us have a look at panning the next sub parameter and I pan it up. I also want to pan it down. And as I've said, I can't use zooming and panning at the same time. So I get rid of the zoom. But we can combine directions. So if we pan it up and to the left, it's going to work. But this only works if we use non-conflicting directions. So up, down as a pan wouldn't work and left, right. For example, down, right, this will work. It should give us a diagonal pan. And here in the documentation, the panning is explained, as I've said, two non-conflicting directions only work up, left, up, right, or down, left, down, right. And you can't combine it with a zoom. Pan up is already finished and you can see the eyes, it loses the reference image a little bit. So this is what I mean by you may have to recycle this a couple of times to get a good result. Pan down looks fine until the end and here you can see it above the eyes. This would be something to recycle. Pan up left works, it's the diagonal pan. And down right also works. I would even say that this is the best one. But here for the pan down, we would have to recycle it. The final sub parameter that can be used with camera is rotate. So we'll use minus camera, then rotate. And we have three values for some reason. The first is clockwise. Second is counterclockwise. And there's also an anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise and counterclockwise is just the same. But for some reason, Pika Labs has given us two I don't know why that is. Maybe that's a language thing. So in British English, it's called counterclockwise and in American anticlockwise. I don't know, but counterclockwise and anticlockwise are the same. And you can also use abbreviations for it. CW is clockwise, CCW counter and ACW anticlockwise. Truth be told that this rotation function of the camera parameter is not the best. So from my experience, this I wouldn't say it rarely works, but it certainly doesn't always work. It depends a lot on the prompt that you use and the reference image. So in my case, the monster that I want to animate. Let's check the documentation once more. So here it is explained clockwise, counterclockwise, anticlockwise. Once again, we can't combine it with a zoom or a pan. So we'll have to get rid of that. Let us check our results.
and you can see clockwise not really a rotation CCW it tries to do something but it's more like a pan let's check CW clockwise a little bit of a zoom and a pan but not a rotation and here finally we have a little bit of a rotation so this would be a perfect outcome for this rotation but here I've prompted like three examples and we had one that worked and this is my experience that fits so it's usually one in three one in four where it works you have to recycle it a lot but this is currently how you can adjust the camera movements in Pika Labs. I hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and I'll see you next time